Lightning Storm um, is maybe unnecessary, and also if they thought sees it or Inquisition it, it's gone. What about just Fireballs, the Wincon? That doesn't work. You're not making infinite mana. You have a huge hand. Your hand is filled. <sighs> Am I thinking of Phyrexian Revoker Ziv Twitch? Probably. I'm probably thinking of Revoker, aren't I? I've been experimenting with a build that runs no one drops, it runs chalice. Check out a spoiler. Sure. Um, okay. Alright, at the beginning of my upkeep, choose one. Each player with exactly 13 life loses the game. Huh. It seems hard to accomplish. It's hilarious, though. Doesn't this literally translate to fear of... Fear of the number 13 or something? Triskai de Copophobia? I don't know how to pronounce it, but... Isn't that like fear of the number 13? Anyway. Right, so Revoker's gonna turn off... I'm sorry, I was thinking of Revoker. Revoker would turn off the sneak attack. Needle would turn off Grizzlebrand. You could also Revoker the, um, the Grizzle. Rage Mage says it translates to so many sets of 13. Austin says it's Trista Decapophobia. Severed says it's pronounced Triscadectophobia. Triscadecophobia. There we go. Thank you. So it is the fear of 13, right? Isn't that what that means? Yeah, I mean, like, maybe we should run some number of dream halls. I don't know how many. This gives us another way to kill. And then you get to cast the enter. I'm not as excited about enter. Or dream halls, I mean. Would you ever want the dream halls to be an intuition target? Or is are they just to supplement the primary game plan, which is Mizzix Mastery, Enter the Infinite? Just run one main deck? Okay. I mean, maybe we shouldn't even bother with Jaces, you know? Like, uh, is that crazy? Also, am I ever going to wish for deep analysis? If I have nothing, yes. <laughs> if I have nothing going, yes. I think that you would... Um, I think you would wish for... Run Blaze, Conflagration, Safer. Yeah, Conflagrate seems safer. I think the Conflagrate is just the way that we want to win game one. Period. Um, I mean, yes, your opponent could like Thought Seize or Him to Turok or whatever, and then um, they could like Death Right Shaman it away. That's a that's a concern, and would be a reason to run more than one win condition, either in the main deck or the sideboard. Like you could main deck, you could sideboard the con uh, Confrogate and main deck a Lightning Storm. If you're that if you're that worried, um, I don't know if I am. But yeah, if you're that concerned, you can do that. Um, this is a little easier on your colors. This would be, if it's in your hand, stuck in your hand, this is triple red because you cast it for zero. Then you flash it back for red red. This is colorless blue, uh, red red. Problem with Conflagrate is you can't win through Rest in Peace. Well, neither of these win through... Um, <laughs> neither of them win through... Uh, um, Leyline. You'd have to Void Snare the Ley Line. Sajiro says, can the deck beat Chains? I don't think so. <laughs> Counter it. <laughs> and, and, and in that case, maybe you just want to run the Spell Pierce. That's why you board into halls. 
Neither will win through rest in peace because it has to be in the graveyard. Ike says you have to discard land the lightning storm. What? New to magic, I mean some help, full color modern. If you're new to magic, I don't know what, uh, what made you want to go specifically straight to modern Grimlock. Sorry to change your question. Obviously, um, yeah. No, yeah, I know you have to discard. Yeah. Ike, I, I'm fully aware of what Lighting Storm does. I'm confused why you're having me read it again, friend. Yes, we're discarding cards. Okay. Why is that affected by Rest in Peace? I don't necessarily see that. I'm, I'm, am I missing something? So we've drawn the whole deck. My opponent has Rest in Peace. I have a Lightning Storm. I discard lands until the Lightning Storm is big enough and then I kill them. But Am I missing something? I'm so confused, friend. I'm confused, you're probably confused. We're probably both confused. Twitch says he's saying why he thinks Lightning Storm's better than Conflagrate. We don't have that many lands worried about a long game. Well, but Lightning Storm is multiplied. You'll be fine. You only need to get rid of what? So Lightning Storm is... It's multiplied by 3, so to kill someone at 21 life, I just have to Lightning Storm pitching 7 lands. We've drawn the whole deck. We should be fine. I don't think we're ever going to have a board state where I have, like... 12 lands out. Yes? I don't know. Tomorrow says it's only 6 lands. Sip Twitch says it's only multiplied by 2. I thought this is X times three. Where X is three plus the number of charge. Oh no, okay, so it starts at three. Never mind. It's not multiplicative. Like says, if we get rest in peace, it's already hard. Yeah, probably. Because it'll turn off some of the value that the intuition has. Yeah, I hear you, Einstein. I agree. Um... We didn't compensate for the Dream Halls. Let's not buy those just yet. And let's main deck something else. I'm going to go grab a Lightning Storm, though. But each discard only adds two counters, so it's multiplicative of two. Okay, so it's it starts at three damage, but it's multiplicative of two. Got it. Okay. Negan says, how do we cast the infinite? We don't. That's the secret. That's the secret. 
We don't. Or, I mean, technically we do. But, we don't hard cast it. Um, let's see. Um, Lightning Storm. Stero suggests Piracy Charm. Ugh. It's really that expensive just for one Lightning Storm? Well, Storm. Ad nauseum modern. Maybe we don't even need that. <laughs> if we need it, though, we can get it. Um, we'll see if the deck works without it. Maybe just a second is a charm, we said, or like the first spell pierce. I was gonna run a couple charms. Seems flexible enough. It does everything that we want to be able to do. We were able to discard the enter. Yeah, it seems fine. This deck already, I'm sure it already has an archetype name, but I don't know what it is. So I'm just going to call it Blue Red Mastery until I know what that name is. Because I don't know what it's called. So I, I, any chance I have to brew with Intuition, I jump at. I just really love the card. It's a lot of fun. Same with Deep Analysis and Burning Wish. Just I really enjoy Wishes. I, I just really enjoy tutors. I enjoy intuition because sometimes it's not a straightforward pile. You have to make the correct decision. Um, I really like Burning Wish because, again, you have to make the correct decision. It's just really fun. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. We call it business. Business? Okay. Oh, wow, yours is pretty different. For example, yours is not using uh, Burning Wish. Interesting. Pact of Negation. Oh, wow. In addition to the forces. I have a Pact of Negation. Okay. Business. Where's your sideboard? Alright, good luck. Have fun. I'm excited to be playing. Uh, yeah, I would keep this. Fast. Okay, so it's got fast mana. It's got a force. Let's go. Let's jam. If we have nothing else going on, if we can't find a way to put the end to the infinite in the graveyard, why don't we just cast the deep analysis? I mean, I just think I just go land drop, land drop. Did I end up running the basic mountain? I don't think I did. I did not. Okay. Um. <sighs> Think of what I want to do. I'm going to pass it back. I was thinking about brainstorming there. Megan says, well, I'm dumb. Didn't see the masteries. No, no, you're not dumb, dude. You just didn't see the mastery. It's fine. Why? Why does not seeing a card in the deck make you dumb, dude? It doesn't make sense. Vision Wasteland. That Wasteland is going to be unfortunate for the home team. Or not. We drew another land, so actually we're fine to crack this. I mean, I was going to crack it for a basic anyway. So what don't I need? Since we don't have a discard outlet, I don't even necessarily need the enter in my hand. If anything, I'd rather just put this back into the deck. 